Hey, Last Outrider here, bringing you another Data Slate video from Aficio Assassinorum. Last time we talked about how they are a formation unto themselves. I mean, a, a, a detachment unto themselves. And now we're going to go over the rules for the four assassins. We're starting with a favorite, the Vindicar, because I know you all want to hear that one first, right? Who doesn't want to hear Vindicar first? I was thinking maybe Vindicar, maybe Calidus. Nope, I'm uh, Vindicar. So, what are the assassin traits now? They have a weapon skill of eight, a ballistic skill of a yes i said it they finally are going to be able to kill some nasty guys and i like that a lot uh in the fluff which i will read later they basically call assassins the deadliest people in the human race yeah i like how they say in the human race because what they're really saying is they don't count any transhumans or anything like that. But any humans, they will kick your ass. Boom. And they seriously do. Just wait until I read it to you. Now, <clears throat> they're a unit type of infantry character, not an independent character. Uh, like I was saying before, weapon skill 8, ballistic skill 8, strength 4, toughness 4, wounds 3, initiative 7, attacks 4, leadership 10, no armor save, don't worry about it, uh, lightning reflexes, uh, got some steroids, which basically means that a model with lightning reflexes now has a 4 plus invulnerable save, and in addition to that, they do not suffer any penalty to their initiative for charging enemies through difficult terrain. Oh, always initiative seven. And if that doesn't make them kick assy enough for you, let's go over some of their other special rules. They are fearless. They infiltrate. Uh, they have moved through cover. And now remembering what I just said about lightning reflexes, they have stealth. Wow. You're talking so so basically two plus and vulnerable save for your Vindicar hiding in a tree. Fuck, the guy could be hiding between, you know, a pebble on the ground. And it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, let's see, what else do they have? <coughs> they also have dead shot. All successful to hit rolls made by a Vindicar assassin, excluding snapshots. And I'm going to say this again for you beardy players. Excluding snapshots have the precision shot special rule. Nice. Independent operative, not character, operative. A model with this special rule can never be joined by another character. If a model with this special rule is your army's warlord, guess what? He gets no warlord traits. So anybody, like I said, it's attachment. If you think you're going to be clever and making an assassin, your warlord, it ain't happening. So what happens next? The next one that I like is no escape. Enemy characters... Suffer a negative two penalty to their look out sir tests against any wounds inflicted by a model with this special rule. I like that. I just I thought that was cool. Negative two to your lookout, sir. <laughs> um Yeah, that's yeah. That's uh that 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 I like that. I like that. That's that's definitely some creative thinking. On the game designers at GW, I would not have seen that one coming. Somebody, somebody was, you know, somebody was up at night eating their milk and cookies when they came up with that one. Let's see. Uh, they have war gear. So they got some standard war gear. That's going to be blind grenades, uh, which are just going to be defensive grenades from the, from the rule book. And they have a close combat weapon. 
Then, of course, the one we really all want to know about. What about their Extus weapon? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll tell you about their Extus weapons. Here's how their Extus weapons work. First, I'll give you the fluff on it. Extus weapons are marvels of Imperial technology. And their ammunition, perhaps even more so. They carry shield blocker rounds with disruptive flux cores that scramble even the most sophisticated force fields. Turbo penetrator rounds capable of punching through the hull of a spaceship. Yeah, they said spaceship. Spaceship. Turbo penetrator rounds can now punch the hull of a spaceship, which, if I'm understanding correctly, means that it can shoot through meters thick adamantium. Because in the Imperium, I don't think there's any spaceship hulls that are going to be much thinner than that. So that's, that's, that's fucking crazy. Um, what else? Oh, Hellfire Rounds. So toxic that not even extra galactic creatures can survive their searing kiss. What does that mean? Why don't they just fucking say Tyranids? Extra galactic creatures. Really? Okay. So the Extus Rifle, range 72 inches, strength zip, AP2, it's a heavy one sniper with Exodus ammo. Then he also has an Exodus pistol. Just like its larger rifle equivalent, each Exodus pistol is a precision engineered to complement the lethal skills of its individual wielder. It is usually employed when a Vindicar assassin needs to escape from a horde of angry heretics or an army of disciples sent into a fury by the execution of their master. What the fuck is this beating around the bush? I believe they're talking about Tao and the assassination of an ethereal, but that's just me. Anyways, what do they do now? Let's finally get to the ammo. Well, oh, I'm sorry, the pistol. Range 12, strength zip, AP2, pistol, sniper, Exodus ammo. Got it? Good. Exodus ammo. Each time a Vindicar assassin fires a weapon with this special rule, choose one of the three following types of ammunition and apply the chosen ammunition's rules to that shot. Now, I read that about 10 times, and I'm going to say something that I hope doesn't get me in too much trouble with GW, but it says to that shot. Now, what I wonder is, hmm, does that mean that if you get multiple shots, you can change your ammo? I don't know. Never mind. Maybe you can't get multiple shots, but you have a pistol. I mean, it's, I don't know. Anyways, I'll let you guys decide. Use the die of fate. So, Shield Breaker. Invulnerable saves cannot be taken against wounds, glancing hits, or penetrating hits from a Shield Breaker round. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm going to read that again. Invulnerable saves cannot be taken against wounds, that's models, glancing hits, or penetrating hits. So that makes it hitting vehicles now is what they're saying. I'm just wondering, though, what... How would you ever get the strength to penetrate anything in, in the first place? I mean, you don't get any you don't get any invulnerable saves, but this is not the turbo penetrator. So it's still strength X. Well, how would you ever use that on a, on any vehicle? Since it says glance, never mind. Well, I'll let you guys figure that out. 
Um, turbo penetrator against vehicles. Shots from a turbo penetrator round count as, yes, you got it, strength 10. Against all other targets, shots from a turbo penetrator round inflict D3 wounds rather than one. I like that little second one. I like that little second one. Because, uh, you know, yeah, strength 10, that means so fucking what? You got a sniper, it, it, it's going to do one wound to, to, to the guy's warlord or something like that. Now, no. It does D3. That's sweet. Hellfire rounds. The ones that are effective against extra galactic creatures. A shot from a hellfire round always wounds on a 2+. I think that's effective against virtually any creatures, extra galactic or not. Uh, spy mask. The Vindicar's distinctive mask contains nutrient cartridges that allow him to hunt for months at a time without the need to resupply. That's got to be some concentrated food. He's got months worth of food in his mask. Sounds tasty. Maybe it's a lot of cheese whiz. Can you see that? It's just two big cans of cheese whiz on the side of the Vindicar's mask. And that's what he eats for two months. I hope he came with diapers. Um, let's see. As well as a comms thief sensor and a wide spectrum auspex visor that can pick out the assassin's victims at incredible distances. I'm assuming those distances are about 72 inches, the range of the Exodus rifle, but let's see. All successful to hit rolls made by a Vindicar assassin, and once again, beardy players, excluding snapshots, have the ignore cover special rule. That must come from the cheese whiz. <laughs> that's nice i like it uh like i said these guys are much much nastier now uh much better at their jobs okay next time i'm gonna do my second favorite one the calidus assassin i'll probably also read a little bit of the fluff in fact i have a few minutes here i usually like to stop under 15 and i'm gonna just try to zoom to it i know they have a little section of fluff just for the different assassins. Now that's Calexus. Ba ba ba. The Vindicar Temple. Here's their little quote Exodus acta probate. The outcome justifies the deed. From Dictatus Vindicar. The ends justifies the means. Really? I mean, the outcomes justify the deeds. The, who wrote this? Vindicar assassins are cold, calculating killers that eliminate their targets with contemptuous ease. They aim to bring about inglorious death to the imp enemies of the emperor with a sniper's bullet and have elevated skills of the art and have elevated the skills of the marksman to an art form. It is said that a Vindicar can pick out a target's jugular vein or pupil of their eye from an extreme range. Even should the distance be traced through the ruins and smokestacks of an underhive sprawl. Nice. To complete their superhuman accuracy. The Vindigar Temple emphasizes stealth and evasion techniques. One of the temple's maximums is that a clean kill can only be made from an excellent firing position. The Vindigar assassins have been known to occupy given locations for weeks, waiting for their quarry to reveal himself before finally taking the perfect shot. By meditating on the immortal glory of the emperor, these superb marksmen can slow down their metabolism to an almost hibernatory state. 
Though an operative's heart beats, perhaps once per minute, when it is in this state, subliminal triggers ensure that he is roused into total focus the instant his target shows himself. In this way, the Vindicar can be likened to a spider or mantis waiting motionless as stone before springing into action at the critical moment. The skills! Isn't that awesome? So, they're spiders springing into action at a critical moment. I assume the critical moment and the springing into action consists of simply pulling a trigger and watching a bullet pop somebody's head. But that's my uh, interpretation of the critical moment. Okay. There's a little more being, uh, should I read it? It's going to go a little long. Ba -da -ba -da. Why not? No, I'm going to save it that for another fluff video because they've got, wow, three more pages on the Vindicar. That was your little tease. Your little tease for the fluff videos coming up next, which they have a whole section here on the history of the temples, how they work, how they train, how they select assassins. Uh... And wise assassins are the deadliest humans in the human race. Boom. See you next time. Bye.